Hi guys, Varel here. Happy Sunday. Good to see you. It's my day off and I'm feeling a little bit better. I wasn't feeling too well, so I was a little worried about how this video was going to turn out, but thankfully there is such thing as medicine that hides all of my symptoms and makes me feel like I'm normal again. First thing I want to do before getting into the Q&A aspect of this video is I want to thank you guys so much for your support. My little random video was kind of spur of the moment and honestly kind of embarrassing. I wasn't sure how well it was going to turn out, but you guys have been really inspiring and you guys gave me a lot of good feedback and so here I am and hopefully this is going to be the first of many videos to come up. What I would like for you to do is go ahead and post in the comments what you want to see in the next videos. Do you want to know about the games that I'm playing? Do you want me to review anime or movies? I can do little things like that. I'm going to hopefully here start working on figuring out how to get some little video editing things going so I can take little ones and put them together so every Sunday there will be a vlog for you or a little video of sorts. Um, today's look is a Lirin from Sayuki. If you like Sayuki, go ahead and post which is your favorite character and why. Because anyone who likes Sayuki is going to be my friend. Let's be real. This is amazing. I don't actually have the costume yet, but it is a work in progress and something I plan on doing. It's just kind of a little side character uh, compared to all the big plans that I have set up for now. But still super important and going to happen. So I have my little list here. And this will actually yeah, be able to fit in one video, so that's exciting. I do have to say is... Don't mind the lighting, it's going to be kind of off and on because a lot of it's natural since I don't really have a setup for like videos and lighting or anything like that. But hopefully that doesn't take away from the video and you enjoy it. So first question is dream cosplay and why? So my dream cosplay is actually Black Rose because I absolutely love Dot .hack and anything Dot .hack the franchise is actually one of my absolute favorites. I love Dot .hack sign. I have the first four games, I have all three .hack GU games, I like Legend of the Twilight, like literally if it's .hack I promise I like it. It's been something that I've always been a fan of, the storyline, the gameplay, it's always been really fun to me. So I was like, I'm going to be Black Rose. At the time when I was playing this game was early high school years, so we didn't really have a whole lot of characters that were black. Let's be real. We didn't have a lot of black characters that were actually influential and someone that you actually played and cared about without being like weird. Like they always had the black characters with the weird pink hair or weird like yellow. I mean, I guess she has pink hair, but so I guess that sort of doesn't really work. But <laughs> they were, they had pink hair, but they had, they were weird. In her case, what it was was she had this personality. She started off really insecure she didn't really you know, know what she was getting herself into, but she was doing it for her brother. And as the game progresses, she just gets stronger and she starts to grow and she becomes this amazing character that you rely on in the game. And I think and that to me was inspirational. I just loved seeing the progress of her growth and her character itself. And she's cute, so <laughs> why not? Who was your biggest influence to get started with cosplay? So unfortunately, that person and I are no longer friends, but you know, it happens, we're adults. We grow up, things change. But she was a person that kind of helped me get over the whole being awkward about my weird and about being different. And she helped me grasp it and was like, hey, this is who you are, this is what we love, and we're awesome, and that's okay. And I love it, and I picked up that mentality. Her and I and another friend, Amanda, I love you, Amanda. We're, her and I are still friends. <laughs> We actually all would have little sessions together and we'd hang out and work on sewing. I didn't know how to sew at the time, so Amanda did most of the work. <laughs> and we just kind of like goofed off. But we got this kind of stuff done. And we got, I went to my first convention because of them. They told me about SakuraCon, so in 2005, I went to my first SakuraCon with my dad for one day. And so this SakuraCon coming up is actually going to be my tenure. So that's pretty exciting, kind of crazy when you think about it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm getting older. <laughs> so crazy, 10 years. <laughs> what type, uh, what styles of music do you like? So I like a little bit of everything, um, whether it's English or not. I do listen to J-pop and J-rock and uh, K-pop and K-rock. And I listen to alternative. I listen to a little bit of country. I listen to a little bit of rap. I like R&B. It really just depends. I'm all about lyrics. And I listen to pop. I love pink. <laughs> I, I listen to pop. I like anything that's really kind of dancing material, like something you can dance to and enjoy, or something that has really meaningful lyrics. So I will admit I'm not the biggest fan of electronics, but that's just because 
I never really listened to a whole lot of it. I'm sure if you guys suggested some really good ones, I'd probably like that too. That's just how I am. Which leads actually into our next question of, do you dance at all? I dance. Am I good at it? I'll leave that up to other people to decide. I don't know. Um, I enjoy dancing. It is a lot of fun. I am that person that will blast music in my living room and just kind of like dance and pretend that I'm in a music video because I do that and I'm weird and that's okay and I love it. It's so much fun. <laughs> it's like all this high energy. Anyone who doesn't like to dance, I'm really sorry because it's a great way to release energy and it gives that good, feel good feeling. You don't even have to dance, be good at it. Even if you dance in your house by yourself like I do. <laughs> It, it's so much fun. It's it's great and you can be yourself and not worry about anyone judging you So really that's the time that I dance the most. I do go out occasionally. I don't Care too much about doing that. I'd rather stay at home hang out with people eat pizza That's just how I roll uh, Next question <laughs> which cosplay that you have done so far is your favorite and which one would you like to do over to get it better? So my favorite is actually Riku even that's actually even a technically is a redo. My first one was kind of so-so, but I still loved it. I actually adore this Riku. I think I took the character really well, and she's so much fun, but she's still kick-ass and is super cute. And I had people come up to me, oh, you're the best Riku I've seen, and I love you, you're adorable. And I think it's really sweet to hear that, to be honest, you know? I'm not really vain, but I put a lot of effort <laughs> into my costumes, and I really actually like to know that somebody actually appreciates it. Would I still do my costumes if no one appreciated it? Absolutely. But, you know, it's that nice extra bonus when somebody tells you, good job, you know? And I'm like, thanks guys, thanks. <laughs> um, of the cosplays you have coming up or want to do, which one are you most excited to wear? That is, of course, gonna be Black Rose. I actually have a friend that I'm gonna be messaging. He does amazing armor work. I'll actually show you a couple of his um, photos probably in the comments after this video. Does amazing work. And he offered to help teach me, and now that I have more time, once I get like a whole vehicle thing situated, because he lives a little further from me, I'm going to have him help me, and Black Rose is going to be amazing, and it's going to be glorious, and I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for this awesome. And next question. When did you start, and who did you cosplay? So I can never really remember if it's 2008 or 2009, because I've been going to cons for a few years before cosplaying. I didn't really know a whole lot about cosplay. I just knew that people dressed up, and that was cool. I went to these conventions, people dressed up, I wanted their picture, and I thought they were awesome, and I was like, man, one day I'm gonna do that. And my first cosplay was Joe from Burst Angel, and it was awful. I mean, like, in a good way, sort of. Like, I sprayed my hair white, and, because I didn't have wigs, and it was a really bad sewing job, and I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have anything, really. But it was so much fun, and I loved it. And it led me on to where I am now. I'm in the cosplay world now, and I'm actually a lot happier with my progress. And at least I can have a before photo and an after photo that shows, you know, how much I've improved because I put a lot of effort into this hobby because I love it so much. And what are your favorite console RPGs? So obviously Dot Hack, like I haven't said enough about that yet this video, but I do love Radiata Stories, I love Star Ocean, and basically anything JRPG I've kind of loved. I've always had a thing where my family's had PlayStations, so I had a PlayStation 1 and a PlayStation 2 and a PlayStation 3, and I've always played, you know, I played Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 8 was my favorite. Yes, I know, people are like, what, it's a love story. I'm a girl, I like love stories. But <laughs> it was an amazing game. I loved I loved the RPGs. I loved the story. I loved playing it and being able to follow this path to figure out how it's going to end. So if you ever have like a RPG that I haven't played, go ahead and suggest it to me. If I can get it from the PlayStation Store, I'm probably going to buy it. Favorite ethnic food. See, I'm a foodie, so I kind of like everything. Well, I'm a little limited. I am vegetarian, and I absolutely hate seafood. But flavor-wise, I'm kind of torn between Italian and Thai. Italian just has a lot of really bold flavors, and I love garlic. Um, with Thai, I love the spices and the curry and the spicy. So I'm kind of stuck between that. I guess it just depends on what mood I'm in. And did you watch American Animation as a child? And if so, which were some of your favorites? So I watched a lot of American Animation. I loved The Fairly Odd Parents. I liked, um... Rocco's Modern World, I liked Spongebob. At the time I was younger, I didn't know really, Invader Zimta. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> I didn't know 
the difference between anime and American animation. I just knew they were all cartoons. I didn't like getting up for school, but every Saturday I set my alarm clock. I woke up with my dad and we would watch Saturday morning cartoons. It was just a thing that we did. We loved it. I watched it all the time. And it basically just became a thing that now I'm a grown up that wears costumes and still watches cartoons. <laughs> What's your favorite movie or TV show? Favorite TV show is definitely Archer. I am super excited about this season. I literally should stop being lazy because I have Lana like pinned together right now and I could probably sew it and get it finished. But I need to buy a wig because my hair's too short now. But Archer, it's amazing. If you're okay with vulgar language, I absolutely recommend it. It is hilarious. I believe it's on Netflix now, so you have a place to watch it. Um, Movie-wise, I like a lot of different types of movies, but my absolute favorite are horror. So Pandorum is one of my absolute favorite sci-fi kind of horror. Oh my gosh, what's going to happen next? It's really exciting. For something more along the lines of comedy, I've been super into Pitch Perfect, and I always watch it as my background movie while I'm working on cosplay, so I've seen it a lot. And which characters from any medium do you relate to the most? I feel like I relate to video game characters the most, to be honest. Those are the kind of girls that start off kind of like the, oh my gosh, help me. And then they learn to like get stronger and defend themselves and be a worth, you know, a worthwhile teammate. In some animes, it's still, there's still not many as much. It's you, you have your pretty cute girl and she uses her looks to, to woo the guys. But video games, I feel like they, with those girls, they tend to have more depth because you're, the purpose of that game is to learn about these characters and get towards the end of the story. So I would say that I definitely feel like I relate to video game girls most. And so those were all my questions. Yay, I fit it within the YouTube 15 minute <laughs> rule because I don't have a paid <laughs> YouTube account. But thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you liked it. Like I said, go ahead and make sure to post in the comments what you'd like to see again and little tidbits about what you thought about this video. I am going to post it on YouTube and I'm going to send you guys a link to let you know what my YouTube account is when I have that already. Awesome. It was great. You guys have an awesome day and I'll be posting you throughout the week and we'll have another video going on Sunday.